I've seen some of my friends type really fast without looking down at the keyboard. That is called touch typing, and it's an incredibly useful skill. I want to learn that skill, but I'm lazy and I don't have time. So I will be attempting to speed run touch typing in just under 10 hours. The question is, can you actually learn touch typing in just 10 hours and will it improve my typing speed? So I made three rules to the speed run. One, I only have 10 hours. Two, I'm not allowed to spend any money, but that's mostly because I'm cheap. And three, I will measure my typing speed at the beginning and end of this challenge to see how much I improved. And with this out of the way, three, two, one, let's go. First, I spent about 20 minutes researching what touch typing exactly is, how I can learn it, and how much it can improve my typing speed. I went through the first handful of resources, wikihow, reddit type, typing lounge, and good old reddit. The results are pretty clear on how to improve typing speed. First, relax and stretch your fingers. Two, improve your posture. Three, learn the touch typing technique. And four, practice it. And after this, I should be able to type blindly and really fast. But first, let's do the test and figure out how fast I am now. The typing test is straightforward. It's a one minute text, medium difficulty, and lots of typing. I did this about three times and got to an average of about 40 words per minute. Since stretching and relaxing of fingers and proper posture is very easy to implement, I will focus most of my time on learning touch typing and practicing it. Touch typing is a technique where each key has to be pressed by a certain finger. The starting position is the home row, from there the fingers move up and down and to the sides. That's why you have the two little knobs on the F and J key, so you can find the home row position very naturally. Online courses help you learn the touch typing technique, so I did just that. The first lessons helped me familiarize myself with the home row through a bunch of different exercises. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to fail those exercises. But eventually, I mastered that. The next lesson covered the top and bottom row of the index finger. This proved similarly difficult. Just those two lessons took me an hour. The next two lessons taught the top and bottom row of the middle ring and little finger, so just keys for the other fingers. And after another hour and a few more hiccups, I cleared that too. Most of the lessons were basically just weird practice words to get accustomed to the finger order. I cleared those in one hour and 40 minutes. But this covered pretty much what I was more or less used to, even though I didn't have the ideal finger position. In the last few lessons is where it started getting challenging. I had to learn how to find the numbers and symbols with the right fingers without looking and how to use the shift key, which you're only supposed to use with the opposing hand. This was completely different than what I was used to and it took me a while. The final lesson finishes it up with practice sentences that make me apply everything I learned. So at the end of the final lesson, they had me do a typing test to see how well I could type now. And it was 28 words per minute. So after a few hours of learning the touch typing technique, I got worse. But I still have about three hours left. So I practiced a lot. My scores kept improving slowly up to the end of the 10 hour mark. And that's when I started getting serious. Now I implemented all the strategies, finger stretches, proper posture, and everything I learned so far coming together. I channeled my chakra and just typed like never before. And at the end of the 10 hours, I actually finished with a new record of 55 words per minute, an average at about 50 words per minute. So after 10 hours, I actually improved over 25%. While I did get better for this test, I wanted to review what I learned and what the limitations are. So obviously the biggest challenge was to not look and to use the right fingers. Some letters, like R, I used to type with my middle finger, even though I should be using my index finger. And some of the exercises involved typing gibberish, which honestly was the hardest part of the practice. Full words or sentences are a lot easier to write fast. 
I'm honestly surprised how much better I got in just 10 hours. An improvement by 25% is insane. And I don't even look at my keyboard anymore most of the time at least. I'm also pretty sure this will just get better with time as I'll stop making mistakes. Typing blindly in general feels really cool and it's also a lot more comfortable than looking up and down the entire time. It's probably healthier too. Even though my typing speed increased by over 25%, that was just for that one speed test and it didn't involve too many symbols or numbers. And after 10 hours I still have to think sometimes about where my fingers need to be and how I need to move them to type the right key. But once I will arrive at the point where I can just not think about it and it just all comes naturally, I'm in the flow, I can focus on the screen and what I am actually writing. In just 10 hours I increased my typing speed by over 25% and I don't have to look down on my keyboard anymore to find the right key. It's a skill I need every day and it's already proved incredibly useful in my work. It was also really easy to learn and there's a bunch of free resources online. Honestly this is one of the most useful skills I've ever learned, 10 out of 10. And there's no excuse why you shouldn't start doing it right now.